Hey there, Dennis Wood here. Today we're going to be just going over installation of some uh, Axis cam bolts. So basically, uh, this is Moog's solution to adjusting camber uh, on vehicles that don't have adjustable camber. In this case, we're going to throw these onto a 2018 Leaf. So if you look at the bolts, uh, it comes with a, uh, a washer, but more importantly, there's a cam here. And as you turn the cam, um, it will adjust the McPherson strut to give you, or I think it's about one and a half degrees plus or minus, uh, depending on how you rotate this. So we'll go ahead and throw them on the car and uh, we'll get a look at how these work. All right, so installation of the bolt kit is pretty straightforward. Here is the kit here with the washer and the cam as we talked about. We're gonna remove this top bolt. Uh, we're gonna leave the bottom one tight and then we're gonna torque this to 100 foot pounds. So first things first, we'll take this one off. It's super simple. And again, we're gonna keep the bottom one tightened because we don't want the camber to adjust. With this Nissan and Leaf in many cars, there is no adjustment uh, right now. So this bolt is fairly large. There's no cam uh, on one that's adjustable. You'll see a cam here, an eccentric cam, and as you turn it, it will basically um, change the angle of the camber. Uh, so whether the tire's leaning out or in, and in this case, I know uh, I've measured this with uh, just a tool that I have here at home. I can show you in a minute. And uh, it is showing me that uh, this car is probably about two degrees negative. And I'm sure the spec is closer to zero or between zero and one. Um, negative meaning the tires at the bottom kind of lean out a little bit. It's only two degrees, not a lot, but this car is going in for an alignment tomorrow. So I'm gonna put the cam in now and then they can adjust it to spec. So let's go ahead and pull this off. It'll just take a second. Uh, you're going to need a magnetic tray here. This is a 21 millimeter uh, bolt. It's torqued, uh, the factory torque for that's about 120 foot pounds, so it's a fair bit of torque. I'm going to use the impact to remove that. So we'll just go on here. Okay, make sure we're on. Hold this and then. Off she comes. <coughs> now I've had this apart already, so it's a pretty easy go. And we'll just take this off. I've also put, because we're in the rust belt here, I do put anti-seize on everything. You can see this bolt has no, uh, it's just a straight bolt and a straight hole. Um, so where things change, with these devices, we will have some adjustment. Uh, it's a MOOC part. Uh, but it uses a 15 millimeter and you'll lo and behold it fits right in there But I am going to put this washer on because this washer is what's going to force The alignment into spec and I am going to put a little anti-seize on the whole mess because we're in the rust belt here and uh, I put anti-seize on everything So what we're going to do is just kind of slop it on the cam here fit that washer back in and we're going to put a little bit on these threads these are lock nuts there we go you can see how that's kind of moving in a concentric pattern there so we're going to go ahead and snug that up and uh, the spec calls for 100 foot pounds so with the um, concentric washer in place um, we're going to go ahead and torque this it's 15 mil at uh, the bolt end and at the nut end, it's actually 18 mil. It's a bit of a weird combo. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, snug that up. Okay, and then we'll uh, bring it to spec with our torque wrench, which is set to 100 foot pounds. And probably do not have to hold on to this because the washer is toothed. Yeah, you probably won't need this once you start torquing. We're gonna take her up to 100. So it's pretty tight. There's 100. The torque spec from Nissan for the bottom bolt is 120. Um, and I know uh, because I just had this all apart that it is indeed at 120. So we're good to go. It'll go in for an alignment tomorrow, and then you'll have some wiggle room here to uh, adjust the camber uh, to exactly factory specs. 
Cool. Okay. Uh, recorded this little section after uh, I shot the video footage, and this is after coming back from the alignment shop, spending a few extra hundred bucks on labor, to be honest, because the tech did not understand how these bolts work. And uh, had I just provided him with this diagram, which by the way, Moog does not mention for whatever reason in their product instructions. Um, so first of all, uh, what we're talking about here is the camber bolts. And by the way, I've been calling them camber. The correct pronunciation is camber, and I apologize. Um, so when you're installing the camber bolt, this little tab here needs to be aligned with this lobe. And this wing uh, on the washer, uh, it's there for a very particular reason. If you look at the way this thing's offset, it's very important during installation. If you're trying to get positive camber, this wing has to be pointed out towards the wheel, so in this direction. And if you're trying to dial in negative camber, this tab needs to be pointed back in towards the middle of the vehicle. And that's it. Uh, this tip, uh, if you're using the MOOC product and uh, you're like me, you I took it into a Toyota dealership that I like dealing with uh, locally. The tech did not understand how these work and I did not provide him, uh, I mean, I provided him with the MOOC instructions. They don't talk about this at all. So I had to look it up. And uh, after provided with this information, he was able to dial in the correct camber uh, for the Nissan Leaf. So this little tip might save you a few hundred bucks. If you did find this video helpful, I would appreciate if you could like or subscribe to the channel. It will help me produce more content like this. Thanks. Hope you found this helpful.